third thing, and this tends to be a bit more difficult for if it's new to players, is the ghosting. And the Charlie Parker thing really dialed it in for me <clears throat> because it's basically you're filling in the time with just a blank note. You don't care what note it is. So a good example is D flat, B flat, C, B flat. And you're coming against the slide a couple times there and it makes it kind of jerky. Whether it's funk or swing, it's kind of hard to get all that in there. But the real lick is, the real power of the lick is if you sang it, you'd go beat and da beat and da It's more like a quarter note in two eighth notes instead of four eighth notes. Beat da da. So I'm not trying to get back into that B flat. I'm just going. So if you got really technical, you'd say I'm playing an A instead of a B flat. And especially in a B flat blues, that's like a bad note. But speed sort of masks that. And the rhythm is more important. You hear it there when I'm playing that slow. But two, I want two, three, four. I challenge anyone to say you hear that, especially if you're playing in a big band or with some other horns. It's just about the groove. And you'll notice, look, and I'm not even trying to get to the B flat with my slide. So I'm much more relaxed. And if you watch videos of Carl Fontana, He's just so not working, right? He's just chilling out. And I spent a lot of time transcribing a lot of his solos and you'll find that's how it sounds so easy is because he's not trying to get out there technically to that note. Right? Um, a typical place. Uh, that thing I was talking about before. I'm tonguing every other note, and the, the note I'm playing second and fourth and sixth, I'm not even thinking about what it is. Right? So that could take a bit of time to try to realize where you can use it. But the simple answer is when you find yourself working too hard and the lick doesn't sound good. If it sounds forced and cumbersome, there's an easier, better way. Natural slurs, alternate positions, ghosting. You know, and the ghosting is almost like blow it off. Don't play it because time is more important. And if you spend any time recording, you'll find that's the number one thing you end up fixing is, oh yeah, he was early, he was late. And you can see the waveform and go, Yep, that's the number one important thing. Play together, play in time, play in the groove. And ghosting, for me, has been a big asset in that department.